Your all attitude training will likely begin in the classroom. Here you'll begin to learn some of the basic aerodynamic concepts that will aid you in your ability to prevent and recover the aircraft in an upset scenario. Your instructor will guide you through, step by step, how and why an aircraft behaves the way it does at various points within its flight envelope. After a thorough ground briefing and proper aircraft pre-flight, both instructor and pilot will put on parachutes for the practice session. While this may seem ominous, it's just an extra precaution that needs to be taken any time you're operating an aircraft outside of normal flight. Stall spin awareness and prevention is all about understanding angle of attack. Therefore, the majority of your training will take place near or beyond the critical angle of attack. Your instructor likely will have you warm up with a few basic 1G stalls. It may have been some time since you've actually stalled an aircraft, as stalls and incipient spins are often the most disliked components of acquiring any pilot's license. Once you've warmed up with basic stalls, you'll move on to slow flight. Slow flight is defined as the speed below endurance flight, but above the stall. Slow flight is a range of airspeeds, with aircraft handling becoming more difficult as the aircraft approaches the stall. All attitude training takes you well beyond the typical slow flight training standards, focusing on controlling the aircraft right near its critical angle of attack. You may end up stalling the aircraft, but that's okay since you've already refreshed your memory on basic stall recoveries. Remember your goal in all of these maneuvers is to anticipate the onset of the stall and be ready to appropriately recover the aircraft as quickly as possible and with as little height loss as possible. The secret to minimizing height loss is to immediately release back pressure to reduce the angle of attack, holding straight with rudder and then add power as appropriate. If you're low to the ground, as in a stall on final approach, it's critical to remember that in order to safely recover your airplane, you must first release back pressure to decrease the angle of attack. Adding power before reducing angle of attack can have disastrous consequences and can cause the aircraft to enter a spin while very low to the ground. There was a time when recovery from a full spin was part of every pilot's training. And while that may no longer be the case, it's in every pilot's best interest to know what it feels like to spin and even more important, how to recover from one quickly. While the spin can be a disorienting maneuver, when performing a spin in a properly loaded and certified aircraft, it's actually a very stable and recoverable maneuver. Problems occur when the aircraft is not certified to spin, is improperly loaded, when the spin occurs at a place and a height the pilot did not expect, or a combination of all three. In a normal spin, the pilot usually approaches the maneuver in the same manner as a power-off stall. The only difference is that rather than using rudder to keep the aircraft coordinated during the stall, the pilot applies full rudder in the direction they wish to spin. It's very important to hold full back on the controls during an intentional spin, as you want the wing to remain fully stalled throughout the maneuver. Recovering from the spin is a simple procedure. Simply pair. Ensure the power is at idle. Ailerons neutral and flaps up. Briskly apply full rudder opposite to the direction of the spin, followed by moving the elevator through neutral until the rotation stops. Once the rotation is stopped, neutralize the rudder and ease out of the resulting dive. Add power once the aircraft has reached at least a level flight attitude. Accelerated stalls and control surface dynamics will be covered during the course of your training, giving you the ability to understand and then feel when the aircraft exceeds its critical angle of attack. Most importantly, through continual training and practice, you'll have the ability to avoid the stall spin and save the lives of you and your passengers.